Welcome to this week's Swarf and Chips. Why the change in introduction? Why am I introducing the show? Well, there's a challenge in place today uh, between myself and Lindsay, which I'm going to tell you about in a minute. Now, we're here at the Car Fulham Group to preview the Manufacturing Performance Network event. I've done my research. I've been here in recent weeks. I know what the event's about. I know why you should be visiting, and I'm going to tell you that uh, towards the end of the show. My challenge to Lindsay is to see whether she can do a better job than me, and I don't think she can. But we want to know from you who does the best job. We want you to comment at the end of the show as to who did the best 60 second pitch for this event. Lindsay's inside at the moment. She's talking to the guys. She's preparing herself for that, that all important pitch which is going to happen at the end of today's show. Thanks, Lord Sugar. Thanks for the challenge. Right, I'm with Will now, so we're going to find out a little bit more about Zola. I'm going to be like a sponge, Will, so I need to pick up all this information. So, the Smile Compact? Yeah, so the Smile Compact really is our entry-level machine. Okay, so this is pretty new to the market, actually. It's a very nice, easy, simple machine. Okay, and then we've got this. Why is it called Smile? I like it. It's making me smile while looking at them. So it's <laughs> so easy to program. It's going to make you smile. Yeah, I like it. So what's so good about this? So this is a Smile machine. Now this is with an upgraded interface, if you like. The, the software is a little bit more advanced on this one. So you can see here it's running with a bit of a CNC macro, CNC program. Um, so the guys can pretty much let it go off and do its own thing. And what, what, why are you going to show this at the show? So this is a nice machine really to demonstrate for anyone that's looking for tool presetting requirements. Um, we can put the tools in and we can just really show them a nice suite of tools and how we preset them and what we can achieve with the Zola Smile Machine. Okay, and it's great because then, you know, if someone's not used to your technology, then they can have a go. And yeah. what's this one, the Genius? Are you a genius? So the, the Genius <laughs> Machine is... Say yes, just say yes. <laughs> the Genius Machine is, is designed really for tool producers themselves. Okay. So in here we can, uh, we can inspect pretty much anything you want to inspect on a tool. The software itself and the Genius is, is something we really like to uh, demonstrate. Can you show me? Do you mind? Yeah. Sorry. So, here, if we look at the, the, the software itself, even if someone's not very au fait with the, the tool geometries or very mm -hmm. experienced in tool geometries, you can still look here from the graphics and just simply select the, the, the features that you want to measure. So again, why are you showing this at the event? What's so good about this? You're saying the software is absolutely slick, but why is it so good? What, why does it, is someone going to come here? What can they do? And then can they be on the machine? Can they test it? Yeah, so we, we welcome people to bring their own tools and we really like to demonstrate the fact that someone can throw a tool at us and we'll put it into the genius. Will you do that? Yeah, for sure. We'll write a quick macro for them and show them just how easy it is to check their tools. Oh, that's brilliant. Right, okay. So, it, you know what? you come to events like this and that's what it's all about hands on pom basic it reminds me of pom bears do you like pom bears yeah i love pom bears <laughs> so what's the pom basic all about so pom basic again is for your tool producers um it's a little bit more of a manual machine here mm -hmm. okay where you can check again a wide range of tool geometries uh, oh, yeah, you can see the light and yeah, everything there so it's, is it how is it measured so we can set the set the light accordingly we can change the magnification of the camera you can see all the features then on the tool and we've got macros in there that you can run to, wow. to pick up the specific features then. Okay, so I mean this is, you, you can even see why you would come to an event and, and see equipment and technology like this and that's but by no means least, this looks like my bedroom, there's a wardrobe, mine's a little bit messier and some drawers, what's this all about? Yeah, so this really does demonstrate our TMS software, our tool management solutions. Mm -hmm. Now what we've got here, we've got the tool organiser and the tool keeper and what you'll see on the screen is a little bit of a simulation of our our demo showroom here. Um, basically, it gives us a, a quick overview of the, the, the cabinets, the machine tools. You know what? It's all Industry 4.0, isn't it? Sure, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, and you've got more. There's and is there some more as well? Is this it? Yeah, we've got a Venturi machine. We've got another Smile machine coming in with a 24-inch Pilot One monitor. So, some really exciting stuff to come down and have a look at. I'm looking forward to it. Right, I've got to retain that. Next up, who knows? Hi, Graham. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Um, now, I don't know if you know, but I've got this um, pitch that I've got to do at the end of the video, and it's against Paul. So, I need to know all the information. I owe GP, why to come to the event, but Graeme, I want to know the golden okay. nuggets, so can you tell me more sure. about Absolutely your machine? Fine. Yeah. So when we look at our industry, typically mm -hmm. we have coordinate measurement machines within the industry, yeah. which are tactile measurements, so generally they take a point every two seconds. Yeah, like the beep, beep. Absolutely. Yeah. With optical <laughs> measuring equipment, yeah. they can do 150 points in around about half a second. 
wow. so you get massive throughput of components. So if you think typically in production, into the quality environment, where they may have a backlog of parts, mm. get optical machines in, multi-sensor machines, will improve the throughput of components being measured. Okay, are you losing any um, information there? Are you able to get the specifics, like down to the microns? Uh, absolutely, so all of our machines go down from typically five microns down to sub-micron with different technology that's on the machines. So you're really competing with CMMs in this industry? Absolutely, 100%. That's right. my main competition is corner measure machines. Yeah. So if you think from a machine point of view, that nice milk component with lots and lots of features on there. Yeah. If you were to put that on a quadrant measure machine... Let's have uh, a look at this one. Let's have a look here, yeah. If you were to put that on a quadrant measure machine, that might take you maybe an hour to measure the whole of the component. Okay. With optics alone, that will take you less than five minutes. The thing is, at the end of the day, everyone just wants to save time and save money, and that's how, ultimately how you do it. It is, absolutely, but most importantly, if you think of one solution fits all, mm. so you don't have to have just a coordinate measure machine, yep. plus hand gauges, yes. plus uh, laser mics, we can have it all within one solution. Okay, and come into this event, you'll find out all this information. Can we, have you got people working on them? We've got people know? working on the machines all the time. I'm, I'm asking customers to bring in components, they struggle to measure. Brilliant. I'm using the word challenges. Oh, so I like this. You want to bring so you're going to be challenging people yeah. to, you know, from what they're already doing and their own, what they, they are doing in their workshops, and you're going to challenge them to just prove what you can Absolutely. do. We'll have engineers all the time with machines. Oh, we'll be talking about technology, where technology is going. Yeah. And people remember, they think optical measure machines are always small. We actually got up to two and a half metres by 1,500. Perfect. So we, we, are, we are quite a small kind of to large. The boundaries. Absolutely. Yeah. So typically the areas that we focus on are automotive, engine blocks, we focus on aerospace components. Yeah. So this gives you throughput, gives you accuracy, all within one solution. Oh, Graham, thank you. Right, okay, I've got to ask you a favour. Sure. I've got to meet you over by Vici Vision because I've got to go speak to Rob about another company within the Car Fulham Group. Thank sure. you so much. I'll see you in a moment. Okay. So I'm sitting on a very comfortable chair here with Rob and he's going to talk us through Stratasys and another area of the company. So yeah, I just want to tell you about the XJet technology that's going to be here at the open house. So recently we signed up with XJet, an Israeli company. Uh, they produce a system which creates metal and ceramic parts through 3D printing. Is this, has it been done before? So metal 3D printing has been around for quite a long time actually. Uh, the system that they have is quite unique. And this yeah. is something you might want to know yourself, Lindsay, over Paul. Yeah. So it's... Um, I like this. Yes, I like this. It's on my, on my side. It's actually got a um, soluble support system. And also it um, is the first system that can print with two materials, metal and ceramics. So that's oh, wow. uh, a world first. So what, what type of... Give me an industry that this would be used in. So it might be medical device, um, so end use parts, it might be jigs, fixtures, um, there's a multitude of different applications that these materials can be used for. Wow, and this is going to be a big draw for anyone to come and see this. Is this like first time in the UK or is there something new about this? For the event. So that's it's the first time in the UK that this machine's available to be viewed. So it's gonna be a you know a first time, get here, see it, be the first people to sort of see a system like this in the UK. See there is just one of the many reasons to come along to such an incredible event. Now I'm very excited to be here because the chair I'm sitting on how has this been made? So that system, uh, that uh, part there was printed on an FDM system, the Fortus 450, it's been made in five parts. So it's, uh, it's a great part that was created by one of our customers, Herman Miller. I mean, this is just fascinating. This is what we talk about, the future, but it's here. I mean, this gear stick here, have you seen it? This is all made, no, you tell me actually, what's it all made out of? So that part there is made on the Polyjet system, which is a system um, that uses acrylic based material to make rapid prototype parts predominantly. But the colour, it looks like wood, it looks like leather, and that's the same material? That's right, it's printed on a machine called the J750, which has got the ability to print with full colour. Goodness me, this is incredible. This is the future and it's happening here. So, so you've got to be showing some wicked demos during the event. That's right, you know, so um, people really want to come along, bring your applications with you, talk to us about how you want to use 3D printing. So with it, sorry to interrupt, you're telling me that other people can come along and bring their own kind of products that they want to see or try or get advice on? That's right, yeah, challenges. It's a great opportunity. We've got three days, come any time during the day, just come and challenge us, talk about what's actually uh, your pain point in, in your own business. Wow, okay, some of these products, we, I want to have a look around. So some of these products are fascinating. I mean, look, an ear, I mean, I can hear you, hear you, get it? But I want to see them in action. That's a terrible day, that is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> come on, let's have a look. 
So uh, over this side of the room we've got our FDM machines. Mm -hmm. um, so these machines predominantly are used for production parts, um, jigs, fixtures, end use parts in aerospace, um, automotive potentially. Um, the machines utilise a thermoplastic material um, of different grades, so we've got high temperature materials and also high strength materials. Right, okay, and then this machine, is this like a smaller version? It's a sort of more your sort of office-based system, so these can still create quite large components. I think we've got a helmet on the windowsill there, which you can oh, see, wow. which was printed on that machine there. Yes. Um, so still quite large parts. So, let me get this right, this is for your finished components and this is more prototyping over here? Generally, yeah, I mean, there is always a little bit of crossover, of course, so uh, these machines here can print with multi-materials, so you've got your colour capability ping pong bats here with the yeah, we'll have a game later. touch, <laughs> exactly yeah, um, so all created in one piece. Um, there was a part actually over here I wanted to show you, yeah, of so this part here was printed using a carbon fibre material. Is it is it strong? I mean this is the type of, this is the worry for people is does it have the strength, you know we're used to metals but you've got new material thing. No this is, this is really strong material, this is 35% chopped carbon fibre um, and this material is being used today at customer sites for jigs, fixtures, um, all sorts of components the future isn't it it definitely is and seeing it in person is so exciting this is another reason for you to come and visit this event i can't stress to you how exciting it is to see these products and the fact that they're all 3d printed all made prototypes on your machines and you're going to be showcasing it at the event right okay one more company vici vision Okay, last but by no means least, thank you for your help, Graham. Tell me about the Vici Vision system. This looks very impressive. It certainly is. Uh, this is a shaft measuring machine. Yeah. Um, people automatically assume shaft measuring machines for measuring the cylindrical components, mm -hmm. but it doesn't have to be cylindrical to oh, measure. Really? It. What? Absolutely not. So things like dental implants, um, trauma screws, components such as these that go into oh, the okay. human body. But how would this fit onto the machine if it's? So, from a point of view, from a location point of view, Morse taper. Universal chuck, so that's one particular feature for holding the part. And we also have different types of holding devices, but because they're sort of more taper, companies can actually produce their own tooling for it. So, from a tooling point of view, that's a small percentage of what the machine can actually do. Okay, uh, talk to me about your competition in the industry. Are you the only person that can do this? No, absolutely not. There's, there's a few other competition in, around the industry, but where we are strong with these machines, these machines fit perfectly on the shop floor. So they can be next to the machine tool. Because mm. you've got wheels on the bottom, haven't you? We have, but in a production environment, we'll probably take the wheels off in fairness to okay. make sure that we have stability in the machine from an accuracy point of view. Okay. But with this particular machine, um, it goes onto the shop floor, it's temperature compensated. So in the hot summer we just had, uh, mm. machines were working above 30 degrees, but given a warning to the operator, you are measuring components at a very, very warm temperature. Ah, so okay. it's good feedback from the operator point of view. Can it connect to, up to the machine tool as well? Does it have that simpatico? It, it can connect up to the machine tool, it can give direct feedback to the machine tool. If you want full automation, i.e. loading on by robots, on and off, yep. we can do that as well. So we can get the whole automated suite through for many, many different companies. Right, and then this machine over here, this is yep. a larger version, am I right? Absolutely. So if I talk about where the machines go, yep. we start at 5mm diameters, yep. right up to 240mm diameters, and shaft lengths really is a minimum of 300 right through to 25 meters. In particular, we supply uh, these large machines into companies that are also producing uh, fuel pipes for planes uh, in carbon fibre. So material wise it can be metal, it can be yeah. plastic, it can be plastic bottles, it can be aerosol cans. Oh my goodness, there's so, so much to learn. So much. Um, now, th towards the show, because I've got to do this pitch in just a few moments' time, what, what are you going to be doing? Because everyone else seems to be telling me about challenging people with their parts. So, is there anything along those lines to do, or, or are you going to have some wicked demos? On Again, there? we're going to have demonstration pieces, and I won't use the word wicked because <laughs> there's, there's a lot on the machines that we need to inspect. But for us, yes. these components we've got now are relatively simple. Mm -hmm. um, more challenging parts are things like cams and cams, uh, cams and crankshafts yes. uh, that we need to inspect as well but we again have the ability with the machine and software to do that even generation of programs on your desk that you transfer through to the machine so you don't always have to be on the machine to program them right okay so much information to take in and are you looking forward to this event absolutely i can't wait i know uh, it's so exciting what we've got to show people yeah i'm really excited um, too oh, go on. it's just technology and people need to understand the technology that now is available to improve their production process yes Yes, and, and, and you're seeing it, and that's what I think I'm excited about, but I'm going to save it all for the pitch in just a few moments. Okay, so here it is. This is my pitch. Good grief. 60 seconds to portray this event. Okay. 
Here we go. Okay, uh, Manufacturing Performance Network event happening here the 4th, 5th and 6th of December in Foston in Derbyshire. You've got to come to this event. Why? Okay, start with Zola. Uh, if you set your tools currently uh, on the machine, you need to do it on the machine, or you need to do it off the machine uh, in, their, in their offline tool presetting solutions from Zola. The biggest thing about Zola is a lot of people think it's for big blue chip companies, uh, but it's not. If you've got three or four machines in your factory, by setting the tools offline using their preset and their inspection, you can get a return on investment in less than a year. Second thing, OGP for metrology. You've got to come and see the machines that they're, they're showing here. Multi-sensor metrology uh, for complicated components using lasers uh, and, and all kinds of stuff. And the third thing with, with that is the fact you can import CAD drawings into some OGP machines, which means that you don't have to program them. Uh, fourth thing, Vici Vision shaft measurement. Uh, sliding head turning, you could use that. 3D printing, we can't forget that. SYS Stratasys and also the new X-Jet metal printer all here 4th, 5th and 6th of December. And that's it. I'm out of time. I've got to move one. What a pitch that was. Absolutely spot on. Right. One minute to sell this event. Let's go. I am not going to sit here and tell you the X and Y of every single product that the Carful and Group have, but what I will say is this is a terrific event. This company here are proving and challenging you to the techniques that you're using in your workshop now and showcasing you the improvement. And at the end of the day, we want to do the things quickly and we want to make the most amount of money. Zola, you've got your presets, your inspection equipment, working together with your machine. And it's slick software, it's new software, and it's so worth coming along to see it. We've also got OGP, they're kind of kicking the CMMs out, aren't they? With some of their technical inspection equipment. Definitely want to watch because there's some brand new technology in there. We go across to the X-Jet. What a draw of a machine to come and see. Printing, not cutting, printing metals and ceramics at the same time. We've also got all the 3D printing happening. We've got Vici Vision, you know, machines that are, you know, measuring turn parts, moving that around your workshop. There's just so much to see. The engineers are going to be here. Everyone's going to be here. Whew, I think that's it. I think it's one to an event to definitely come along to. At the end of the day, we want to learn about new technology. It's making things quicker. And at the car, full and group, I'm sure you've seen, they've absolutely nailed it. So the 4th, 5th and 6th of December. The MTD team are going to be here covering it, but we would love for you to come along too. Now, thank you for watching this week's Swarf and Chips. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. If you want to watch any previous episodes, click on the links on the screen. And as we always say, keep those spindles turning. Whew, what a day. Vote for me. Come on. Paul thinks he knows everything. So come on. Vote for me. Comments box below. Come on. Girl power. <laughs>